What up, what up, it's Dane and in this video I'm going to be telling you how many reps and sets to do to maximize muscle hypertrophy, muscle growth and build muscle mass, right? And even strength. This is real, real important and I haven't seen many other videos on YouTube that have covered this, so make sure to watch the whole video, right? This might be information that you don't know. So let's get into the video straight away, right? So you want to maximize muscle growth, right? And this is talking maximize, this is not just building muscle mass um, for teenagers, skinny guys, whatever. This is real maximizing how many sets, how many reps do I need to do, Dane? Like, tell me. Okay, I'm going to tell you right now. Basically, you need to understand the types of um, muscle fibers, right? The fast twitch muscle fibers have more potential to grow than the slow twitch, but the slow twitch muscle fibers can grow. And the slow twitch muscle fibers are the ones that most people neglect and even I do. So I'm going to tell you how to maximize hypertrophy, how to look the best shape, how to get in the best shape of your life, basically, right? So how to even optimize all the training and everything you do in the gym. So let me tell you exactly how to do this. So you wanna basically have these three principles in your training, right? And I'll say this in most of my videos, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel if you want to get in great shape and maximize your muscle hypertrophy naturally, right? And stay lean year round. So anyway, three principles. Principle number one is me um, mechanical tension, right? This is real, real important. This is basically just increasing your strength. Second, like what powerlifters will tell you, increase your strength, blah, blah, blah. That's mechanical tension. Second, is metabolic stress. This is what bodybuilders will tell you. This is like chasing a pump. Third is muscle damage. This is just like hitting the muscle from different angles, um, high time under tension, on the stretch position, stuff like this. That's muscle damage. So those three principles have to be in your training if you want to maximize muscle hypertrophy. I mean, I'm not saying just build muscle mass. I'm saying maximize this shit, right? And mechanical tension will increase your strength, meaning then when you go back to your hypertrophy cycle, you can lift more weight, a higher time under tension, and then muscle damage, again, hitting the muscle from different angles is really gonna optimize that muscular hypertrophy. So those three are really important things, but how many sets, how many reps, right? So if you don't know me already, I'm big on power building, basically just increasing your strength and then moving on to the isolation exercises. Sorry, increasing your strength from the compound exercises, then going on isolation exercises. That's basically just, uh, the standard approach I, I use and I recommend for everyone as naturals. I, some people say power building for, like you do the power lifting exercises first and then you do the isolation, which is fine. I know that also works, but I say get strong on a compound exercise. That's what I refer to as the power portion of the power building, if that makes sense. Get strong on all compound exercises, not just bench or squats. They live like pull ups, dips, stuff like that, right? Get strong in them. And then do the isolation. So how many sets and reps? I know I've been, just giving you loads of information. So, the first part of the workout, your sets and reps will be almost kind of similar, right? So, sets I recommend about three to five. If you're beginning, keep it on a low range because you don't need to go high. Your body's still adjusting. So, definitely try and increase your strength at the start of your workout, getting strong on the compound exercises. So, about three to five sets, three on the low end beginners, five high and four intermediate lifters. And then the reps, again, I'd stay five reps. Um, you could go four to five reps. Normally, traditionally, they say three to five reps for strength, which you can obviously do. But personally, I recommend as well, if you're an intermediate lifter, you can include this as well, pyramid, reverse pyramid training. Basically what I do, and this has worked well for me, to get a pack on a muscle mass. <laughs> I'm joking, I don't know why I did that. I ain't got no muscle mass. So anyway, yeah. So increase um, strength on the compound exercise. I just lost my thought doing that stupid flexing bullshit. And then, uh, where was I? Yeah, three to five sets, strength, um, doing strength, three to five reps. You could do reverse pyramid training. You could do like five reps, first set, second set, seven reps, um, third set, eight reps or nine reps, stuff like that, get a higher volume in. So that's the mechanical tension out of the way. Metabolic stress. Make sure to watch this whole video though if you're serious about this shit, right? Just doing this, ending the video now on mechanical tension is not gonna get anywhere. So if you're serious about optimizing it, let's get it. So me metabolic stress, like this is like chasing a pump, swell, um, cell swelling, and cell swelling is real, real important, right? And this is like obviously chasing a pump, your cells are swelling, and then wa water is, how can I say it in simple terms? Water is flooded into the cell, and then your muscles respond by actually increasing the cell size, right? so your muscles get bigger. That's the simple, simple terms of it. So that's what the metabolic stress is, just chasing the pump, right? That's basically the second part of the workout. So that's when you move on to the isolation exercises after the compound exercises. 
The sets and reps I recommend here, again, probably three to five sets again. I keep the sets more or less the same. And then reps, here, here obviously we change it up because we're not going for mechanical tension, we're going for more time under tension. So probably eight to 15 would be good. Um, you can even go high if you would like to, but that's not really well. That's that's moving more to um, like the slow twitch muscle fibers, right? We are optimizing the fast twitch muscle fibers here. So yeah, metabolic stress is real important. And then third, muscle damage. When doing isolation exercises in there, just switch switch your routines up, switch your exercise up, hit upper chest, lower chest, different angles, stuff like this, right? And obviously, to get more muscle damage, concentrate on the negative, but don't go real slow on the negative because there's it's like an inverted U effect. If you go like more than four seconds down, it's just gonna, it's not gonna help you anymore. In fact, it's probably gonna hinder you. So about two, two to three seconds down would be fine. So yeah, muscle damage is real, real important. And that's how to build muscle mass, right? Now we talk about optimizing muscle mass. To optimize muscle mass, I also recommend taking like one to one to three weeks even training with high reps, low weights, right? And you're probably thinking, what is this guy telling me, man? And just listen to this. So I'm gonna be telling you how many reps it sets to work in, but this is real, real important, right? Real important information. Slow twitch muscle fibers have potential to grow as one. Well. Like I said, everyone neglects them. Everyone neglects them, I do myself. Slow twitch muscle fibers, like I said, they basically increase in size when you do a higher rep range, right? So when you do like 20 to 30 reps, stuff like this, that's why I said take one to three weeks doing 20 to 30 reps, lightweight reps. So how many sets, how many reps again? Again, I keep the sets more or less the same, three to five sets, but here we go. The reps is increased this time, about 20 to 30 reps. This is really gonna increase the size of the, size of the wow, fast twitch, slow twitch muscle fibers, right? So this is really, really important. And this is how many sets and reps for optimizing muscular hypertrophy to build muscle gain not to build muscle gain, to build muscle mass and increase strength, just optimize muscle gain, right? So let me summarize all of this up because I know I've been talking for a long time and I always like to summarize all of this up. And past year, I've been thinking I've been talking fast. Hopefully, I still have views. If you've been watching to this point, let me know because I just think everyone's um, fell off, but whatever. So to summarize, it's mechanical tension, basically increasing the size, not the size, the strength. What am I talking about? Mechanical tension, increasing strength. That's number one. Number two is metabolic stress, cell swelling. And number three is muscle damage. Number four is cycling off. Do you want to three weeks with lightweight, high reps to increase the size of the slow twitch muscle fibers, right? So those are the four steps in order to maximize the muscular hypertrophy. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know down below. You already know what to do. Subscribe, like, comment. Let me know if you even watched the video to this point. And if I've been talking fast, if I have, I'm sorry. But anyway, more poorly than everything, Ah, shit. Stay positive, stay smiling, and I'll see you in the next one.